So, after the big Nikon flopped, they flopped around like fish out of water, gasping for air. They crippled themselves. They were basically about to start a race, a running race, and then they took a hammer and smashed their toe and be like, we could still win. So they released like a pro priced camera and then just the one card slot. So they pissed off all the professional photographers. Nobody's going to switch. And then the videographers, you give us some good video features and then no flippy screen. When are they ever going to do it? Rumors are the battery life has 47 seconds of video. So it's like, I don't know about that one. Although I will say this. We should ease up on Nikon. If the A7 III didn't exist, wouldn't the Nikon be looking pretty sweet right now? Other than the card slots, which I don't give a shit about. And the battery life could probably be worked around, but pretty kick-ass camera. It's just the A7 III ruins everybody's life. So with Nikon out of the way for now, they had their moment in the sunlight and they burned to a crisp. We got to look to the future, what's coming next? And let's talk about it today. We have the A6000, I messed it up already. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. There's a storm of Bruin out there. Symbolizing the camera industry as a whole right now. Something's coming. Leo. So let's talk about what's next. And first, I want to say this. Be happy with what you got. I just, I cried next to my Panasonic G85 the other day because I was like, gonna sell it. And then I was like, I'm so sorry, little friend. You've helped me so much. Be appreciative for what you have. Your camera's probably good enough right now. So do we need it? It's exciting when new cameras are announced, but do we really need to upgrade? Probably not. My G85 is perfect, it looks amazing, it's just that manual focus lens pisses me off. We'll get around it. So according to the latest rumors, we got an A7000 on the way. Imagine that, let's speculate for a second here. I like, I like the direction, if they take what's on me. How you doing? So there's a couple things I love about this rumor, and then a couple that I'm like, shit, that could ruin it. So, the A7000. Picture an A6500, but they make the body bigger. And that makes the Ibis better. And then they flip out that screen, dare we dream. And then we got a vlogger's dream camera. Boom. But, I will say this. I don't like when it says, oh, we can shoot 20 frames per second. Who gives a flying raccoon donkey shit? I have to pay for that? I don't take 20 pictures in a second, ever. Oh, that bird, yeah. I don't need 20 pictures of that bird every second. I just hate that it's gonna take some serious technology to make that happen and I'm gonna have to pay for it. Even though it's like a, a vlogger's dream camera, they're gonna give me some stupid feature, just like the A7S III, if that comes out. And it does have the flip out screen, it'll be the ultimate video camera, but then they're gonna put in that expensive as shit EVF that I will never use, and I'll just be like, what the hell is that? You're like a cricket, spider, alligator, slash scorpion, lizard. So the A7000 looks to be the sweet spot, it looks to be the perfect camera, please do it. Please flip it out, just flip it out. Flip it. Put the hinge on. It's $3.99 at Walmart. Get the hinge. Or let me break it off. Can we do that on the A7 III? Can you just break it off? I don't care if it's dangling. As long as I can see it, I'll be happy. I have a feeling the A7S III will be just out of my league for what I need. It's like I'm doing a little show in my fucking living room here. And I'm going to do like 4K 60p. 4K 120 frames per second, 14-bit codec. I mean, nobody gives a shit about the quality of this show. We don't really care. It's just, I really just want to upgrade for ease of use. Autofocus would be nice for the first time in our lives. And just a fun camera with a wide-angle fun lens. Funhouse lens. But you just know they're not going to flip it. They ain't going to flip it. 
they're gonna keep the same body. It's like, oh, we have this three system. No, yeah, they're all the same. Your body's the same as it was in high school, you loser. Actually, that's a good thing. Not even in there, so. But then we got the elephant in the room. Our buddy's cannon. What are they gonna do? Oh my god, they're full frame mirrorless. It's gonna come. Even their M5 II might be pretty darn good. If it's an M50 but X, X rated, a sex machine camera, if it's like a pro version, I could see it. Although their lens lineup sucks, forget I said that. Delete that. In the editing room, vegetable police. I'm not vegetable police. Camera conspiracies. The latest rumor I saw was 28 megapixel sensor with IBIS. I could dig that. 4K 30? I don't really, all I really want is 1080p. But if they don't have the 1080p 120 frames per second, I ought to slap your firstborn child. I have a feeling it's gonna be Canon though that does it. The first full frame flippy screen YouTube dream camera. And it's gonna be the company that everybody hates. I have no problem switching right over to Canon. What are they gonna do with their lens mount? Will it just be EF glass? I could dig it. That new Tamron, that looks exciting. 15 to 30, 2.8 with stabilization. It's heavy, but I've been working out. Even this camera gets heavy, it's 114 grams. I was walking with a friend the other day making a video for my other channel and just holding it here, it's like, oh my God, <laughs> how am I gonna handle a DSLR? So exciting times ahead. Things that I would like to see, I would like to see an upgrade to the Sony X3000. I'd love to see a Sony X4000 with maybe a one inch sensor or at least a, the one over one seventh of a sensor. I don't know how to say it, but this is like a 1.23, whereas you can do the 1.17, which is like minuscule, strong, bigger. I think the Canon S120 had that back in the day. It's like slightly bigger than micro tiny. I could dig that. But yeah, I'd love to see an upgrade to this with a better mic jack so I could actually plug a lav mic in and hold it a little farther away. And that sound decent. I'd love to see Panasonic move up to full frame, but probably not gonna happen, but curious to see what they do on the GH6. If they can combine, and there is that rumor of the G90 having the GH5S sensor with stabilization, you might have something there. You might have something. I ain't gonna buy it, but you could convince me. I can be convinced of anything. Put a good looking man in my bedroom and you never know what's gonna happen. I almost forgot about Fuji, almost on purpose. Their X-T3, I don't think it's gonna have the Ibis. And it's gonna be amazing. Not good enough. Get that Ibis in and your autofocus isn't good enough. So you suck. And Olympus coming out with a new pro camera soon. Could be interesting. You never know. So there's fun things ahead. So let me know down below what you're interested in. What do you think's gonna happen? What camera are you most excited for? What camera company is gonna take over the universe? I think we're done. That storm's getting close. Scary night here. We're moving down south soon, so next video I'll be in a new area. But we won't be talking about it, because this is a camera channel. So I'll take a picture for you. We're done. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos. I'll see you in the next one.